Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's Pythia, and welcome back to another video on this Place channel. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about making mutations in the Grow a Garden series and kit. Um, if you're new to my channel, as of course you saw in the intro, please, 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 Feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I'm trying to get to 100,000. And um, yeah, so this video, we're going to be talking about mutations. Um, I know it's been a second since I posted. I'm sorry, guys. I actually went on a trip to Barcelona, Spain. So that was muy bien, I guess you could say. Uh, <laughs> very fun. But um, yeah, so we're going to get right into this. Now, uh, if you're new, if you're watching this video, there's going to be a kit in the description. Um, you can actually go check it out. It's on my profile if you'd like. Um, it's just this kit. Uh, let me actually just show my screen. Sorry. Um, it's just this kit right here. So feel free to grab this kit, either hit edit or download. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like wanting models. Unfortunately, just because this kit has a lot of um, modules and I've, uh, sorry, you want models. Of course, this kit has modules. Um, so I'm unfortunately not able to publish it as a model because Roblox um, gets rid of anything that has like require statements. Like it doesn't allow me to put it on sale. It's this stupid update they did and I don't really agree with it. Um, but if you do also want to, uh, this is the main way of doing this. I actually recommend joining my discord server. I mean my discord server, cause I have everything in here. So this is the model. So if you want the model, this is the model. If you're new, if you're watching my past videos, you, I'll show this in a sec here, but it has the model, which, um, we're gonna be importing. Or you could just have the kit itself. And then, of course, this is the new mutation service, which I will talk about also as well. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you're going to load in. Um, this is what it should look like. I'm um, sorry, these there's just so many updates in the past things. But let's say, you know, if you have the kit, you're in the game brand new. It should just be already set up for you, okay? Um, you're going to want to go watch my other videos. Maybe my last one that talks about making seeds for you. But I'm going to also go back into talking about making seeds. Um, but basically, let's say you import the model, um, if you are my Discord server. And here, these are the things that we updated, okay? So we have crop eradicator, the main one. And then we have these services. And we have mutations and get free value. Um, so, uh, it was already actually in replicated storage under assets. So what we did, we created a new, um, as you can tell, we created a new, uh, folder called mutations and in here it holds, uh, these module folders, uh, golden rainbow, um, and inside are these parts. So as you can tell, we have the parts right here. This is the golden, this is the rainbow. Um, and I forgot to mention guys, this was actually made by Senko. Uh, I'm gonna leave them in the description. So please, please go check them out. Uh, totally forgot to mention that, but yeah, thank you to him. This is all his stuff. And um, after this, we're going to be going on and making a lot of more stuff. But yeah, so we had to change the get fruit value, which um, I can talk about. But yeah, so we just um, we just added new things here. So when it comes to golden and rainbow um, and also as well, uh, which I will kind of go into here as well, we are going to go into the environmental stuff and weather. Um, but you want to change these values based on like, you know, how much you want uh, growth wise. Um, you can just lower these number, make them higher, whatever you want to do. But this is just timesing and all that kind of stuff. So um, you can, yeah, mul mutation multiplier, basically. Um, you can change that based on what you want to. But I would recommend keeping these higher because what this says is basically, um, let's say you get golden, which is like a higher uh, a higher chance. It's just doing it by 20. But let's, uh, let's say it's like rainbow, which is a rare chance. You're going to do it by 50 because it's like so super rare. Um, so that's good to know. Um, but yeah, so in these folders, we have golden and rainbow. Um, so in your replicated storage, just drag this mutations into here. Um, and it should be under the, uh, modules folder. Sorry, I forgot to mention, make sure it goes under the modules folder. Um, and then the get fruit value, you're just going to want to replace the old one with the new one. So the new one is of course what we just talked about. Um, we had to change a function right here. Uh, so this is the function we changed in the growth of mutations. Um, so you're going to get rid of that. And then server script service. So we added and changed a few things in the uh, inventory service, which I'll go into. Um, and then we have mutation service. And then we have uh, seed shop service. And we have the main. Um, so yeah, the main, same thing. You're going to have to just uh, swap out all the old ones. But I'll kind of talk about this real quick. And also, um, if you did just import that model or kit that I gave you guys, you're going to want to make sure you get this new mutation service because I actually changed it right here with this uh, mutation chances, So, which I'll go into. But it's also already in the game um, if you have the kit on my, my profile. But yeah, so in here. Okay, so there's golden and then there's rainbow. There's all these modules. So when we, I, I should probably explain first before we make a new one, but let's just go through this real quick. So 
we have um, these modules, okay? And when you're gonna make a new one, you're gonna we're gonna duplicate this stuff, but I'll talk about this in a sec. Um, so we have apply tool effect. This is gonna be applying that tool effect, basically if you're holding it, or it's, you know, something in your, your hand. Um, we have the remove effect, which is basically getting rid of the effect. Um, and then we have apply effect. So this is where it's applying the effect if we get the mutation. Um, and each one is going to be the same exact thing, but like see rainbow effect. And then this one says like golden mutation effect, if that kind of makes sense. Um, not much you have to change, which we'll go into in a bit here. Um, inventory service. So we added a new uh, table into here called mutations effect cache. Uh, we're basically grabbing all the mutations um, and we're checking them for module scripts is what we're doing. Um, and then we're going to require them. So that's when we get them and activate them. And it kind of goes into, I don't think we added anything else, actually. Uh, modules, mutations. Yeah, we didn't change anything else. But as you can tell, this is where it goes and adds mutations. If it adds, adds it, um, which is nice. Um, and yeah, then the rest of this was just the same. So we didn't need to worry about that. Um, what else did I add? Oh, yeah, mutation service. So we'll go into this. But let's actually go to C-Shop service real quick. I know I changed something here. Oh, yeah, that's the... Oh yeah, down here we changed mutations to growth mutations. So uh, get gra random growth mutation. Basically, we're gonna go into the mutation service, and then it's gonna do this uh, this mutations here. That's gonna check and send the table and see if it has um, when we plant the seed if it's gonna have mutations or not. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, and I'm gonna go into this later as well. We already talked about this in the past videos, but main thing is mutation service, and then of course in the crop replicator in the main. Um, we're also doing the same thing, so requiring again, cache mutations, um, and then this is where we just visually do it, so if there's mutations, we apply the effect, we remove the effect, everything like that, and also, I don't know if I've tested this with you guys yet, so what should we do, um, and then, of course, we have uh, this function right here, which checks if the fruits and everything like that, mutations get changed, if the values of that get changed, then we're going to call the function muta mutations changed, and that's where we go through this local function right here, and we do it based off of that model. Um, but yeah, so this is the main script. Um, when it comes to changing things, so uh, or adding more, etc., this is what we're gonna be looking at. Okay, so how this works, and I kind of added it based off of Senko's video, just it did a little different. Um, we have we it's it's kind of simple, honestly. We have a get random growth mutation, and we have a give mutation. Give mutation is basically going to be putting the mutation on the fruit. Um, so we find the values of the mutations, we put it to that fruit value, we add the mutation, blah 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 blah. Um, so yeah, so this is where we're adding mutations. Um, and then of course right here, this is where we are doing the random mutation. Um, so this is where we're going to check and see if we get a certain kind of mutation, give it in, to the player. Um, how this works is we use, we get a local variable called random. We do random.new, which is going to just do basically random. Um, if that makes sense. Um, you can, I'll check that out in the, in the Roblox service. But in here, how this works is... We're going to do a roll, okay? One through 100 is, is what you say. And then we have a chance. Of course, it's zero right now. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to create a for loop, and we're going to go through these chances right here, okay? So we're going to go through these chances. And if the roll is less than or equal to the cumulative chance, which is zero, so if it's going to be less than or equal to zero, then we're going to return the mutation.name. Mutation.name is basically going to be just what is in here. The name equals rainbow or whatever. So we're going to return rainbow or golden or it's going to be nothing so we're going to get no mutation how this works so it has to equal 100 if it doesn't equal 100 right here so yeah so th this is we're just going to return nothing but um basically when you add mutations so it, if i wanted to add a mutation um which honestly we can do another one which we're going to talk about but basically how this works no mutation you have an 80 percent chance of getting a no mutation that's something you want you want a golden mutation, it's like a 15% chance. Rainbow mutation is a 5% chance. So 5 out of 100 or whatever, 0 0.005. Um, so for the more rare stuff, you want to keep it lower. But you got to make sure this equals 100. So let's just make a new one real quick. Okay, we're going to call this, this is rainbow. I don't know, we can call it fire or whatever. Let's just go do call it fire. Um, now, mutations. We're going to grab this part, put it in workspace. Because we want to see what it looks like, right? Um, so... As you can tell, you can kind of see that he kind of did it a certain way. But if I wanted to, I literally could just go in here and just for the sake of the video, we'll do it like this. So like uh, something like that, that works. Um, but you can also change like size and everything. So, I mean, it's it's up to you, honestly. So flares like, I don't know, like, let's see one. Yeah. So if you do like five, I don't know, you could do anything like there's this is just all of that he did. Um, but like literally just, you know, customize it to your liking. It's all up to you. 
Um, and then you're gonna call this uh, fire effect, okay? So call it fire effect, whatever you wanna name it. Put it in here. Now it doesn't, literally you can do anything with this particle stuff. You literally don't have to worry. Just put whatever you want in it. Just make sure it's part of the part and you're good. Um, and then yeah, there's the, I think there's primary part, right? Uh, no, yeah, so, okay, we're good. So fire, we go in here. We're just gonna look at this real quick and we're just gonna go script.part equals fire effect. So then we copy this and we'll go fire effect, fire effect, um, go double check, fire effect, fire effect, blah, 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 and you're good. So now you go to mutation service. Now, if I wanted to, depending how I wanted to do this, I could just make it like, uh, I could just do uh, whatever, but so, so this is called fire. So you gotta make sure you don't you don't put fire effect. You put fire uh, whatever. Uh, so you gotta you put put uh, fire. Sorry. Um, yeah. So we're gonna call fire, right? So if I wanted to, I could go one percent chance, and it's gonna give me a one percent chance of getting the thing. But of course, see this goes. That's gonna be a hundred and one. So just like if we wanted to, I can just like go fourteen. So then you know add those up. That's that's nineteen plus twenty and then eighty hundred. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's going to be right here. That's going to be a, uh, you know, 1% chance out of a hundred basically. Um, so uh, we kind of talked about this because in the seed data as well, um, oh, well not the seed data, um, seed shop service, if I'm right, I think, where did I do that? Oh yeah, right here. We kind of did the stock range, chance based rarities, all that kind of stuff. So that kind of makes it make like what we did in the last one. Um, but yeah, so basically that, that's, that's it. So if I were to, um, I might have to do a new thing, but we should be chill to just test it out real quick. Um, oh yeah, I already had some of my stuff too. So I actually have a golden carrot on me right now. Okay. Um, and as you can tell, it actually is already like, it has the effect even though I'm holding it. Um, so like, let's say I go over here. Um, this one was the one that had the golden effect on it. So this one has the golden effect. Um, and yeah, so going into this golden carrot, um, and then this is a normal carrot. So actually, yeah, if you were to go just like, I don't know, let's go right here. Okay. Got anything to sell, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I want to sell this. Boom, boom, boom. This was worth 1400. Okay. Let's see how much this is worth. Um, go into here. I want to sell this. That was worth 151. So as you can tell, the mutations make it way more pricier. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we were to, I don't know, let's see, maybe let's see how many, there's tomatoes. Okay, so if we go garden, I don't know, let's, uh, yeah, my planning stuff is fast, so we should be chilling. Oh god, that's, these are big. Here's the big boys. Um, let's see if I get any mutations on any of these. Okay, that got gold. Um, uh, yeah, so you get the point. Uh, you know, I'm not getting, like, amazing mutations right now. These are growing big. Um, but, yeah, so, oh, there's gold right there, too. Is that fire? No, it's gold. Um, and you can check too. I'm pretty sure if you go to the world, go to map, planet seas, uh, server from right. Yeah, pr prompts, server configuration, fruits, uh, mutations. It kind of talks about it right here. So if I were to, uh, which one is it? Which one has the mutations on it? This one. So if you go here, fruit prompts one. No, sorry, server configuration, fruits, uh, mutations. Let's see here. Yeah, so it says golden. Um, now, I know you guys are probably like, oh, how do we do the, like, name thing? You know how, like, it has the cool cool thing on it, and you can, like, it shows the name and mutations. We'll work on that later. Um, for now, we're just going to do the basics of things because, you know, we don't want to rush it. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much mutations, you guys. Now, when it comes to making seeds, once again, you got to follow my last video because I talked about it. But I think one thing I forgot to mention was... Uh, right here. So, I uh, well, seed data. No, I already talked about this one, but seed shop service. I did forget to re mention this. Um, right here, if you want, just I mean, you don't, this doesn't really matter, but yeah, if you have a seed, whatever the first seed is, you should just rename this part. So, just make sure to check in here and, you know, see the seeds that you have. But I kind of talked about it already. I hope that they kind of made sense. Um, I know it's not in depth about everything, but that's that's it you guys that's pretty much it for the mutations and everything and the next video i think i'm going to go off of just some simple things like adding player overhead things and like we'll go into like you know stealing all crops and uh stealing i mean growing all crops at one time and stealing players uh crops things like that but yeah leave anything in the description you guys i hope you did enjoy this tutorial and i hope it made sense for you but um i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye